If you are watching this video, then you probably already realize how limited Google Sheets is when it comes to building a crypto portfolio tracker. And with that, I'm talking about the Google Finance formulas. It only really works for some of the top crypto projects. And as we know, there's thousands and thousands of different all kinds. And if you want to build a live document that continuously updates the prices, um, then you're going to have to uh, come up with some other method. Now, I did do a video on this about two years ago that showed you how to import the Google price in real time into your Google Sheet tracker. A lot of the comments on that video were people looking for some other data points as well, aside from just the crypto price. So you might want the likes of, say, the volume or the market cap or the circulating supply and other data points like that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can simply import those data points into your Google Sheets. So it's just using a function called import HTML, and we're going to scrape the data from the coin market cap website. So for each crypto on the coin market cap website, um, there will be a specific page for each crypto. So Bitcoin will have its own page. So coinmarketcap.com currencies forward slash Bitcoin. So that's a Bitcoin specific page. The way the HTML works on this website is it lays stuff out in separate little tables. So you have a table here that covers, say, the daily price and it's daily low and daily high and then you also have another table here showing the market cap and the fully diluted market cap another one here showing volume and circulating supply so with one simple formula you can pull each of those tables individually into your google sheet portfolio and then you can use that data to try and build on it and build out whatever kind of a spec of a portfolio tracker that you want so i'm just going to briefly show you how the formula works here now and i'll also uh, share this uh, Google Sheet down in the description section if you want to come in and just say copy and paste the formulas it might be easier for yourself so that will be available down in the description section and also I'll probably pin a comment as well so the, the formula is pretty easy so it's just import HTML open bracket and then in quotation marks you have the link to the page of the crypto that you're looking at here so I'm looking at the Bitcoin uh, the Bitcoin page here on coinmarketcap.com then you have a comma, then in uh, in quotation marks again, then you have a table, and then you have another comma, and then you're selecting the table number. So you can change this table number, um, as I will show you in a second here, and that will pull different data for that particular crypto. So let's have a look here. Um, so I have it set here to table number two, and that's going to pull uh, the market cap data. I'll change it back to one. That pulls in the price and the 24 hour change, 24 hour low and high and the 24 hour volume. Let's have a look at table number three now. Table number three then pulls in yesterday's high and low and yesterday's open close and yesterday's volume. Table four then brings you in the seven day high low, the 30 day high low and 90 day and 52 week high low and all time high and low as well. So lots of different stuff that you can work off here. Um, then if we look at table number five, which I believe is the last one, and it starts repeating itself again after that when you keep continuing to go up above five, uh, we get the circulating supply, uh, total supply, and max supply. So the next question I know you're going to ask me now is, it's all well and good importing, say, uh, the data in this format into your, into your Google Sheets, but if you actually want to work with it, it's not very useful because, say, in the cell, it kind of has the wrong format. It's in as really text um, rather than a number and it includes this BTC here as well. But I also have a formula here that I've pasted in um, which you can copy and paste um, into your own uh, your own tracker. Um, but this one will essentially remove anything that's not numeric from the cell that you have it pointed at. So I have this uh, C4, so it's pointed at C4 here. So all you need to do is just update um, the cell that it points to and that will remove anything uh, that is non-numeric basically say it'll remove commas and any uh, any text and um, so that makes uh, makes it at least uh, more workable for whatever you want to do with it so i think i have covered off a lot of this stuff here um as i said you can just change the link here if you want to track a different cryptocurrency you can go to the say the ethereum page or whatever other page um you want and just copy and paste a new link in um so it's just matter of uh going to the specific page and you'll find the, the exact uh, link and you can copy and paste that into your formula the only downside of this is that sometimes but it's rare enough um 
Coin Market Cap will put a, a bit of a block on the scraping of the data from their website whenever I think they're just working on the website or something like that, and it might be just broken for a day or two, um, but it usually always just comes back. It'll happen maybe once every two or three months. We just kind of have to live with it because there's no really other simple method of building um, a crypto portfolio tracker on Google Sheets. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video and also subscribe to my channel um, for more kind of videos like this. Um, and also, as I said before, I'll leave the link to this um, this file down in the description section if you want to just copy and paste those formulas.